We've all seen this book before, right? This is a huge book. There's a lot of pages in here with a lot of tiny words. The reason that this book is so big and there's so much packed in here is because this is the most important book that has ever existed. This right here in my hand is the Bible. First and foremost, the Bible is the word of God. Everything that we could ever want to know about God is found right here. We can read about what God loves, what he doesn't love, what he wants for our lives can be read right here. Also in this Bible, we also read about the story of creation, how God created us and everything in the universe and how sin entered the world and broke our relationship with him. But we also read about how Jesus came down in the form of a man to save us from our sin. Again, everything we want to know about God can be found right here. Another reason that this book is so important is because it's a great roadmap for us as Christians. So God knew that being a Christian, that living a life that glorifies him can have its really good days, but can have also its really hard days. So we can look to the Bible for wisdom, for encouragement, for guidance, and how to live our lives to glorify God. So now that we've talked about what the Bible is, I'm sure you're asking the question, well, can I trust the Bible? How do I know the Bible is real? First and foremost, yes, you can trust the Bible, put very simply. Let's talk about right now two reasons that we can know the Bible is real. The first one is that it's straight from God. In 2 Timothy, a verse says that all scripture is inspired by God. So meaning that everything that we read in here is actually from God himself. So let me give you a quick breakdown of the Bible. The Bible has two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And within those two sections of the Old Testament and New Testament, there's 66 different books. And each of these books were written by different authors. So about 35 people wrote this Bible, but they were only the ones that put the words on paper. It was actually God's words that he was giving to them to put here in the Bible for us to have today. So everything we're reading here is from God himself. Another way that we can know the Bible is true is that the Bible is consistent within itself. So that means that something that was written one year and maybe a hundred years later, someone else wrote something else in the Bible, those two things will line up with each other. Nothing in the Bible contradicts itself. It's consistent with itself. Even though it was written by multiple different people, everything here lines up with each other. I know I just scratched the surface today on what the Bible is and how we can know it's true. And I'm sure you have a lot more questions. That's good. Write those questions down and find people that can help you answer those questions. But the best place to go to to find those questions is right here in the Bible.